So here is our problem, and uh, we need to understand something, and that is what is a mathematical operation? I'm saying the order of operations, but in mathematics, these things like this, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even uh, powers, these are things we can do with numbers, and these uh, things right here specifically are mathematical operators. In case we're talking about mathematical operations, and when we have a problem that has more than one type of operation, we need to know the correct order to do the problem. Because if we uh, just kind of randomly say, you know what, I want to kind of do multiplication first, and then I'll do addition, then maybe I'll go to division and back to multiplication. Well, depending on the, uh, the order you take, okay, you can come up with all different sorts of values. Of course, there's only one correct uh, order, and that order is this acronym right here. This is effectively a checklist for us, and I'm going to go ahead and explain this right now. All right, so this checklist, PEMDAS, works from left to right, and uh, these letters stand for something. And before I explain to you what these letters stand uh, for, okay, let me give you a little memory aid here, and that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This uh, phrase and acronym has been around for years. Probably my great-great-grandparents were saying this way back in the good old days. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into uh, the correct order of operations right now. All right, so P, what does P stand for? P stands for parentheses, okay? And obviously we have some parentheses here, but a P also stands for uh, brackets or these kind of little squiggly brackets like this. Uh, really, P stands for grouping symbols, okay? So if you see numbers grouped together by parentheses, brackets, or squiggly brackets, this is, this is where we start. Now, something uh, about uh, parentheses, uh, if you have multiple sets of parentheses, you want to work from the innermost parentheses first, okay? All right, so we don't have that situation, but we definitely have parentheses. Now, let's move on to our next letter, which is E. Now, E stands for powers. So you might be saying, Hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're saying powers, but uh, this is E. Why doesn't, you know, how come we don't have a P here if you're saying powers? Well, when we look at a power, something like 2 to the third power, this little number up here to the top right is something called an exponent. This big number down here is called the base, and this entire thing is referred to as the power. So E really stands for exponents, but you can think of it as uh, powers. Okay, so here is the most common a place of confusion when it comes to the order of operations, and it's with these letters right here, uh, particularly M and D. All right, so before I tell you that, let's just make sure you understand what M, D, A, and S stand for. M is multiplication, D is division, A is addition, S is subtraction. All right, now uh, most of you might be you know, thinking, well, if this is a checklist that goes from left to right, and this is where most people get themselves in trouble with the, with the order of operations, it's a checklist that goes from left to right. So I have to do multiplication first every single time. If I have both multiplication and division in a problem, I got to do all the multiplication, then I move on to division, and then after that, I go on to addition and subtraction. This is not the way this works, okay? And I don't think that, uh, uh, if you got this wrong, I think a lot of um, uh, textbooks and uh, maybe some teachers don't emphasize this as much because, again, this is a highly confused area. So let's go ahead and talk about how it actually works. Okay, so M and D and A and S are actually groups. So what you're going to do here with multiplication and division is you're going to do uh, multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. In other words, if I see division and then multiplication, I'm going to do it this way. So my acronym could be DM, but if I have multiplication and then division, I'll do it this way. So you have to consider what's going on from left to right, and addition and subtraction work the same way. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So what do we do first? Well, we are thinking to ourselves, uh, PEMDAS, all right, this guy's saying PEMDAS. What do I do first? It's just a checklist, right? So you ask, you ask yourself, do I have any parentheses? Yes, indeed, I have parentheses right here. So this is where we have to focus. Okay, we have to do this step uh, first. You have three minus five. Now, if you don't know your positive and negative numbers, well, then you may not have known the answer here. But uh, if you um, didn't understand that three minus five is a negative two, because that is the correct answer, uh, you might want to review some basic math. Let me give you a quick suggestion. 
you might want to check out my Math Foundations course. It's just a basic uh, kind of math boot camp. It's a small course. You'll find a link to it in the description below. But uh, anyways, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. All right, so 3 minus 5 is the same thing as 3 plus negative 5. All right, so hopefully you understand that. So this now is our problem. Okay, we have 4 divided by negative 2 uh, times positive 2. Okay, so what's the next step? Well, this is where we have to be thinking about our PEMDAS again, right? So, okay, did I do uh, everything in parentheses? Yes. Now, all of those parentheses right here, there's nothing uh, left to do inside the parentheses. So this step is effectively done. Okay, E, do I have any powers? Nope, I don't have any powers, no exponents there. Do I have multiplication and division? Yes, I do. Okay, what do I see first from left to right? Well, I see division before multiplication. So this is what we need to do first, okay? Now, if you looked at PEMDAS, you're like, okay, I gotta do multiplication next and then division, you would have done that, okay? And of course, you would end up with negative one. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. So here, we're going to be doing division, right? Because we just uh, talked about that. This is what we see first from left to right. So four divided by negative two, we're gonna get that answer, then multiply by two. Now, before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can. But the key is to find a teacher that gives you clear and understandable instruction. So hopefully you like my teaching style. And if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you. Well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description but they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. Not much work to do here because we're just talking about basic division and multiplication. So four divided by negative two, positive, uh, a positive number divided by a negative number is negative, so that's going to be negative 2 times a positive 2, which will give us negative 4 as the correct answer. But let's just do this problem wrong here, okay? Let's say we're just following the order of operations, you know, uh, PEMDAS, the way we think we understand it, okay? And again, I've been doing this for decades and decades, and most students are just kind of quickly going through this checklist. All right, I did parentheses. There's no powers. Now I'm going to do multiplication, so they just go right here. So if you were to do this, you would have what? Uh, four divided by negative two times two. This is going to give us, let me do it right here, four divided by negative two times two, that's negative four. So four divided by negative four will give us a negative one, which of course is not the correct answer of negative four. Okay, so uh, for those of you that do need additional help in this, I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel. Also, uh, a couple of courses um, that you can check out. I'll leave links to those in the description. One is my math foundations course if you want to just review basic math. If you really want to relearn a lot of math, check out my math skills rebuilder course. That's a new course of mine. I teach you a lot of um, basic math, algebra, and geometry. And then I have all my main courses like pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2. You can check those out as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.